Greetings children. Welcome to the online classes. This is Aishwarya. Please like and subscribe the channel for the further updated videos. The following video is for class 5, subject EVS, chapter 14, the sky, part 1. Now, watch the sky in the evening from the playground after playing the games. You will see some stars here and there in the hazy sky. When the sky becomes clear, you can see countless stars. You will, be also, you will also be able to see shooting stars during the rainy season. Thunder, lightning, cyclone winds, rains, etc. are common. Are you eager to know how all these takes place? In a day when the sun rises and it is night when the sun sets. The moon is seen at the night. Shall we find out how these changes take place in the sky? So <coughs> in this lesson, we are going to learn about all of these things. Know how about the sun and its families. Understand the shape and size of the earth, its movements, cause of day and night. Know about the meteors, asteroids and comets. Understand the movements of the moon and its faces. Know why the earth is a unique planet among the other planets. So to begin with, first we will see the sun and its family. The sun and its family. What is family? Family is our blood relation we live with. So what is sun's family? The sun, its family is nothing but the solar system. What is the solar system? Solar system comprises of the sun. 8 planets, 173 satellites, thousands of asteroids, meteoroids and comets. All this together makes the sun and the family. Okay. The stars are self-luminous celestial bodies. The sun is also a star. The solar system is a part of the galaxy which is also known as Milky Way galaxy. Right. Yes. Now first let's see. This is the solar system. The sun and the eight planets. That's Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. These are the eight planets which make the solar system including the other asteroids, meteoroids and the comets also uh, and the other satellites also. So first let's learn about the sun. The sun is a star. The stars that we see in the night sky, you know, they are like the sun only, but they are very far away from the earth. That's why they look like a small shining star. Sun looks big because it is much closer. It is the closest star to the earth. Okay. The sun is a star. It is closer to the earth than any other stars. Any other stars that we see in the night sky, it is very far away. The sun is the closest one. I'm sorry. Therefore, it looks bigger and brighter than all other stars. It is the center of the solar system. It exerts a gravitational pull on all its members with the orbit around it, which orbits around it. We all keep going around the sun, isn't it? That is because of the gravitational pull of the sun. The sun provides light and heat to us. It appears to rise in the east and sets in the west. Do we not feel that the sun is moving around the earth? Is this true? We feel that, isn't it? We feel as if the sun is going around the earth. Right? The heat and the light of the sun is essential for human beings, plants and animals. All living organisms, we are dependent on the heat and light from the sun. Next is, in ancient time, people thought that the sun, the moon and the planets were orbiting the earth. Okay, it, this was known as the geocentric model. It was exposed, uh, sorry, expounded by Claudius Ptolemy. Okay, Claudius Ptolemy. He, uh, you, as you can see the picture, the man's picture in this uh, screen is Claudius and the uh, image, this first second, first larger image that you can see, you can see that the earth is in the middle. There is Mercury, there is moon, there is Venus, sun. This was very in ancient times, many ancient times means many, many years ago. Okay, but this was uh, 
disproved by Aryabhatta. Aryabhatta, the first Indian astronomer and the mathematician, proposed that the Earth and the other planets revolve around the Sun. Many years ago, Aryabhatta, the Indian astronomer, he uh, he proposed he told the truth that the earth is not the center of the solar system okay but it is the sun and the earth and the other planets everything revolve around the sun this is known as the heliocentric, heliocentric model heliocentric model means the sun is the center geocentric model means the earth is the center now nicholas copernicus johannes kepler who supported this model they also they are, these are the other scientists who supported the uh, heliocentric model of the uh, solar system okay later galileo galilei an italian mathematician and the physicist invented a telescope and using it further supported the heliocentric model of copernicus so this uh, model was supported by different other scientists and finally they proved that the earth is not the center of the solar system but it is the sun okay next class we will learn about the planets the earth and uh, different things we will learn about this lesson so i hope you have understood today's class stay at home stay safe take care of yourself and keep learning children thank you